to start recording, you press um, the record button once to arm it. You'll see that it starts to blink. Um, and then when they roll speed, you will um, you know, say speed and press it. To stop recording, you will press stop. A couple other things. You want to make sure that this is set to mic plus phantom. Um, that's setting your input. And you will plug into input one, which is right here. That's input one. Okay. Um, this is your gain level for input one, where you can adjust your gain. You can see um, what's giving me my audio levels is my VU meters. That's called volume units. That measures how loud my signal is. You can turn it up and you'll get a much higher signal. Turn it down, you'll get a lower signal. Again, you want to listen in your headphones to hear how much noise is in your signal there. But do make sure this is on phantom power because um, these uh, shotgun microphones are condenser mics. They need, they need uh, power in them, okay? couple other real quick things is um, some things in the menu. So you can go into menu and we can go into record mode. This should be set to uh, dual mono if you're recording with one microphone. Um, and you will see your source here is channel one, which is this. Now important to note, a channel is just a pathway. And when it's set to dual mono, channel one, the signal coming from this microphone on channel one, will record onto, if we exit out of here, both tracks. This is showing track one and track two, which is your recording space, are going to have the same exact signal. If we go in here to record mode and we set dual level and we want to change it, we could set this to negative six. And when we exit out of here, you can see here, uh, channel one w is recording the track one at our set level, okay? And channel uh, and track two is recording to negative six decibels lower than that. So this may be real useful if you have a scene where an actor is yelling, um, and this will allow you to basically record the same uh, event at two different levels, and then in post-production, you'll have to choose um, whether you use track one or track two. So there's a little extra work if you don't have these set to um, the same level. So again, to adjust that level, you go into record mode, and you would go into and set this to zero, and they'll record at the same level. Then you don't have to do anything in post. But if you get into post, and you've set this to um, negative six, um, you're going to have different levels, and so this will sound um, different in your headphones in post. So you have to select, um, you know, uh, uh, channel uh, track one or track or track two, and use whatever one has the best uh, audio on it. Another menu setting is input settings. You want to make sure that the gain is set to mid. And that's pretty much one of the main things you want to worry about in here is make sure the gain is set to mid. Now, this is one big menu. As you scroll through, it's going to show you. Um, this is on channel one. As you go down further, it goes to channel two. You go down further, it's channel three and four. So make sure just when you're looking at it, it's set to the actual channel that you're using. Again, a channel is a pathway that records two tracks on the recorder. Uh, record settings. Here's where you can go in and set your sample rate and um, you know, your format, uh, and we strongly suggest, um, you know, a, a, a WAV file at 16 bits is fine, and you want to set your sample rate um, to uh, 48 uh, kilohertz per second, and that's pretty much the main things that you want to note in here. Um, turning the pre-record on is also a pretty useful feature. It would mean that basically once you've armed the recording, it will record a few seconds before you actually um, are recording. So if, if you are a little bit late on the game for whatever reason or aren't paying attention, it will still actually record the audio um, that, that you missed. Okay, so that's just real important there. And that's pretty much that for the menus on the recorder. But again, just a couple things to really, really make sure. Make sure you're set to phantom power, um, you know, uh, and, you know, make sure the hold is off. Um, and, 
you know, note that you don't want your headphones up too loud, you don't want your gain set too high, and you want to make sure that, you know, you're adjusting your gain with, um, you know, within reason. So you don't want to have it all the way up um, or all the way down. You know, start in the middle, see how loud your signal is. If it's a good signal, um, don't adjust it and make sure that you adjust your signal in between takes if possible and not during a take. If you want to play back your recordings, um, you know, it's pretty easy. Uh, you know, you want to hear them in the field, you could press um, play and then they'll start to play, that, uh, play your files and then you can use the, um, these buttons here to navigate from, you know, uh, recording one, two, three, four to go back, or if you're, you know, playing, you can, um, you know, you can you can scroll through them as well. But you use these buttons to move um, move through your recordings, and so that you can play them back if you want to play them back in the field, and press stop, and that will obviously stop them.